Telco Kenya has accused Safaricom of sabotaging its merger plans with Airtel Kenya. Telcom now wants the regulator, Communications Authority, to intervene and prevent what they termed as monopolistic tendencies. But as Dennis Otieno reports, Safaricom has dismissed the claims terming them false. The control of Kenya's vibrant telecommunications sector is once again heating up as Telcom fires the first salvo on market leader Safaricom. Telcom, which has announced intentions of partnering with Airtel Kenya in forming a combined entity, is now accusing Safaricom of allegedly blocking the planned merger. Now we have no quarrel with our colleagues at Safaricom. We are simply trying to restructure and improve our own businesses. It is unfortunate, however, that Safaricom now wants to de delay this process that seeks to provide customers with credible options. In the latest quarterly review by Communications Authority, Safaricom is still the biggest telco in the country, commanding a market share of 62.4%. Airtel is second with 26.1% market share, while Telcom is third, controlling 7.9% of the subscriptions in the market. Further delay to the approval of this transaction could find Kenya staring at the potential of reversion of the telco sector into a monopoly, impacting negatively on the welfare of the consumer and the economy. On its part, Safaricom has dismissed the claims of sabotage, saying it is in support of the proposed merger and that the telecom boss has the wrong information. Telcom maintains its proposed merger with Airtel will give Safaricom a formidable competitor. And despite MPs raising the red flag as to how the deal was arrived at, CEO Mugo Kibati is confident of pulling it through by the end of this year. We have followed stepwise every legal, every statutory requirement in this process, both ourselves as well as our partners, uh, potential partners, Airtel. That is, what, that is what gives me the confidence that this will be completed in due course. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.